um, for those of you who will be listening to this later, listen and listen to me well. I just received some documents from um, Canada indicating that the government of Canada is now going to remove driver's license um, or replace it rather and health cards with the QR code. Now think about it. Why would you remove a driver's license which has an image on it? Why would you remove a health card uh, which has an image on it to give you a, one, a new ID that has no image but just a QR code? Mm. Wake up. So the world, as you know it, is now 10 regions. Uh, on the 7th of September, Africa, the Union, and CARICOM joined together as one and the Oceania and the other parts of the world, they have become one. So we have now 10 regions governed by the G7, which is Japan, uh, Canada, United States, etc. So the G7, what ruling over the 10 regions. And above the G7, of course, is Lucifer and all of the, these different um, persons. So now, when Canada removes driver's license, and that you have to have the QR code to have a driver's license, you will not be able to drive unless, this is what they're telling you inadvertently, without the, the joke, which gives you the QR code certificate, you will not be able to renew your driver's license, therefore you will not be able to drive your car. Are you catching it? Can't drive your car? Uh, so Canada is going to go all over the world, even to Jamaica. That's why Jamaica was trying to bring in NIDS. So that, but they didn't put it in a way that the Jamaican people would accept it. But now, with all the brainwashing from the last year to now, they are now people just thinking that if they give in, they go back to normal. You don't go back to normal, you die. So, the driver's license, the health card in Canada, your passport will all be connected to the QR code and your cash, your bank account. It's the cryptocurrency. There will be no more cash, cash will crash. And so, this is happening. This month of October for Canada, they're going to roll out no more driver's license in Canada. October, November, they're rolling it out. No more driver's license, no more health card. Uh, and, of course, by next year, no more passport. So travel will be with, without... You see, all those people who are working at the airport now that think people need them, you will be replaced. There will be no need for you to be there. I was in Italy two years ago. And I just scanned the microchip in my Canadian passport, and the, the door opened. A lady just stamped in it. She didn't even look in the book. She just asked me for a, a page for her to stamp, and I left. And I said, why this is strange? No one spoke to me. No one asked me why am I there, because that's not what it is now. The world is changing, and they have been doing the test run in Italy and in Europe in these countries where you just go through this little glass booth, you start standing and it takes a, it scans your face. When I was in South Africa, uh, the same uh, scenario applied. Something scans your face and you go through. It, and it, no, sorry. When I was in Australia, that's the same thing I experienced in Australia and in Italy. And so what you need to understand, ladies and gentlemen, is that this is it. So you cannot renew your license. Those of you who have not paid up your land taxes, one of the ways to catch you is the fact that you have not paid your land taxes, then they have the right now to come and take over your property. So you have to pay your land taxes years in advance. I know this is really intense. You did not follow the signs and therefore you missed the seven year of prosperity. When the government of Jamaica told your prosperity, four years, it was true, but now that time of prosperity comes to an end, September the 22nd, and the time of famine and hardship like this world has never known or seen before in the history of humankind, this is what's happening. So in order for you to get this QR code, all right, why is Britain going into contracts with um, funeral parlors for four years to store mass bodies because they know that the people are going to die like flies. Listen to me and wake up. There are camps all around the world. They are building camps. In Jamaica, you think the soldiers are building this camp up, up in, um, the, in Montego Bay in different locations and in Kingston they are building camps. For who? For the dead bodies. Because when people start to see the dead bodies that are piling up 
they're going to start to retaliate and they have now they, the lockdown is put in place so you're locked into an area and you cannot leave that area so this little play this game that you think you're playing that you'll be able to go in downtown or you go up to kingston as you have a feel it is not going to happen they're going to ban you from traveling and moving and everything else until they have taken away all your liberties if you don't wake up right now and understand the time that you're in you know think it's joking time if you don't know who your god is now you will not know then when all hungry I'll kill you and, and, and water the pipes. Listen, imagine now there's no more JPS and no more NWC. And in order for you to get water and food, you have to go and show the mark. They're going to be controlling the water supply and the light. Are you hearing me? You, you will not be able to pay your bills because you don't have the QR code because cash will be removed and the QR code will become your cash. Those of you sitting down saying you will wait and see. May I tell you, so you will see it with your eye, but you shall not eat thereof. You will, at the time then you think you will see to eat of it, you will die. This is the time to set your house in order, to put your affairs in order. When they, when they realize that people are waking up, even those who have received their mark, they're going to interfere with your emotions. To you won't hear a voice talking to you in your mind. It's a technology they have now. It's a weapon that they have. <clears throat> a voice will be speaking in your head. Just like when someone becomes schizophrenic, they suddenly hear a voice and start doing crazy things. This is what is going to happen. The technology that's on the inside of you will allow them to speak into your head by the frequency. Just like how your phone picks up frequencies and you can hear a call, so it's the same. The person becomes an antenna. <sighs> I have warned. I have warned. I have warned. Noah warned, and so today I am warning. I'm warning. I am warning. Wake up. Gasoline, you cannot, there's a time coming you won't be able to first buy gasoline unless you have the QR code. And you can't get the QR code. You will not be able to go to the hospital without the QR code. The hospitals now are designed. The doctors only come in to pass that you're dead. They don't come to assist you. They have received instructions for you to die. The, 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 the medication they're giving you for $197,000, Revisidia or whatever, that's going to cause kidney failure. You're going to die. And they attribute every death is attributed to the sea, the big sea, when really every death that is happening now is to be attributed to the joke that you are receiving. I have warned. I hope you will listen and I hope you will understand in Jesus' name.